Now to the dilemma the president faces over how to respond to Israel's bombardment in Gaza. Mr. Biden told guests at a fundraiser this week that Israel is starting to lose international support due to, quote, indiscriminate bombing. As Weijia Zhang reports as a phrase, other White House officials are now trying to clarify. White House spokesman John Kirby downplayed President Biden's comment that Israel is using indiscriminate bombing to attack Hamas in Gaza. The president was speaking to his concerns about, um, uh, about making sure we're seeing the results that Israel has claimed is their intent, which is to reduce civilian casualties. On Wednesday, the State Department said it has not made a formal determination as to whether Israel is indiscriminately bombing Gaza. And the president was likely referring to the impact of the large-scale bombing campaign. Israel insists that its airstrikes are only targeting terrorists and their infrastructure. Gaza's Hamas-controlled health ministry says Israel has killed more than 18,000 people. In Tel Aviv today, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is expected to urge the Israeli war cabinet to do more to reduce the number of civilian deaths. He will likely face questions about what President Biden meant when he said Netanyahu has to change. The president realizes that, the, that Israel is a powerful, vibrant democracy, and any change in the government is going to have to be determined by the Israeli people. As the conflict rages on, eight Americans remain unaccounted for. On Wednesday, their families met with President Biden in person for the first time. They are willing and ready to do all that they possibly can by any number of means to get the hostages home. The administration has not been able to confirm the whereabouts or the conditions of those missing Americans who they believe were kidnapped by Hamas on October 7th. Ouija, thank you.